It's not unreasonable to ask for an extension if, if you believe that you need the time. The question is, what changes could you possibly see happening in such a short period of time? Remember, when we defaulted on May 20th, it was kind of like a, a soft default. You have 30 days before it becomes an official default. But still, your, your ratings already begin to fall. When it's, when it's early like this, and, and, and everybody, you're, you're far apart, and you're trying to feel out each other, this is a new government compared to the last one, then you have a lot of tense moments between the bondholders and the government. And so this will go on for a while, I think. I know the Prime Minister had indicated in his budget speech that by May, this process will be wrapped up. But I think you know he's, he's, a, he's a rookie in these matters, and he couldn't appreciate what it takes to restructure a bond. But I don't think that it's unreasonable to ask for an extension. If you need the time, ask for it. My question is, what do you do during that time? And let me say, because people have been asking me about this. I have offered to help the government. I know a lot of the players on the, on the bondholder side, on, on the other side, and I had offered to kind of be like a, a bridge between the two sides so that you, I can familiarize um, the government with the players and the players with the government. And the government has flatly rejected that. So I just want the public to know, and I hope you play this on newscast, that this current process that's going on right here, the United Democratic Party has not been asked to be a part of it. 